Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of composite figures involving triangles. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now before we start, I want to mention that we're going to separate these figures into simpler shapes. So we're going to break them down into simpler shapes that we know how to find the area of, combine those areas to get the total area of these composite figures. So let's jump right into number one here where we have something that kind of looks like the outline of a house. So the first thing we need to do, again, is separate into simpler shapes. So I'm going to cut this shape right here. And I'm going to label the top triangle A and the bottom rectangle here B. So we know how to find the area of a triangle and a rectangle. So we need to find the area of A and B, add those together, and we have the total area of that composite figure. So I labeled them A and B to keep everything organized here. So let's start with A. So I'm going to put an A over here. And our formula for the area of a triangle, area equals base times height divided by 2. Now you may use 1 half times base times height uh, for the area of the triangle. That will give you the same answer. Uh, dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by a half. So let's plug in area equals the base of A right here is 7 feet times the height 3 feet and divide by 2. So that gives us 21 divided by 2. So area equals 10 and a half square feet. So now we need to do B. So area of a rectangle, length times width. Let's plug in. Our length is 7 feet times width of 3 feet. Now if you did 3 times 7, that would give you the same answer. So don't get caught up on the length and width there. Area equals 21 square feet. So now that we have the area of A and B, we need to add those together for the total area of the composite figure. So I'm going to come up here. Area is going to equal that 10 and a half square feet plus the 21 square feet. So let's add those together. 10 and a half plus 21 is going to give us 31 and a half square feet. So that's the total area for number one. So let's move to number two here. Again, we need to separate into simpler shapes. So let's cut this shape right here. That way we have a triangle and a rectangle. We'll call the rectangle A and the triangle B. It doesn't really matter which one you name A or B or what you name them, as long as you're organized and it will all work out in the end to give you the same answer. So let's find the area of A first. So uh, formula for rectangle, length times width. So let's plug in. Length, I'm going to use, don't use the 15 feet. The 15 feet goes all the way across. We just want this 10 feet here. So 10 times four. And the area is going to be 40 square feet for the rectangle. So let's do um, the triangle B. Area equals base times height divided by two. So let's plug in. So we need this base here. It's not going to be 15. 15 goes all the way across. So we need to do some thinking here to figure out what that's going to be. So it goes all the way across 15 so we need just this section here. So we need to use what we have. We have a 10 here. So 10 plus what will give us that full 15 we can think of it as. So this is actually going to be five feet. So five times the height, 
which isn't labeled, but we can look over here at our four. So the height is four and we divide by two since it's a triangle and that's going to give us 20 divided by two. So 20 divided by two is going to give us a total area of 10 square feet. So now that we have the area for A and B, add them together for the total area of the composite figure. So I'm running out of room here, so I'll go to the middle bottom of the screen here. So area equals 40 square feet plus 10 square feet, and that's going to give us a total area of 50 square feet. So again, added part A and B together for the total area of that composite figure. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.